Sure. Tony here and Angie. And uh, we are excited to be back with you again. Uh, the title of this quick Facebook Live is What is or How to Tap into Your Power Source? And, you know, I think about power sources, my mind immediately goes to superheroes. You know, from a little kid, you know, I'd see uh, Popeye go and get his spinach, and that was his power source. You know, he'd be dealing with Pluto, trying to get with olive oil, and uh, things wouldn't necessarily be going on good for him. But he got that can of spinach, and he was like, dig, 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 dig. I got my spinach. And he would throw it in his mouth, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then everything was awesome for him because he tapped into his power source. You know, I think about Superman, and it's a little known fact. Everyone knows that Superman's weakness is kryptonite, but most people don't know that his power source is actually the sun. So he actually gets power from the sun, and there's been a number of comic books that movies that talked about him, you know, for whatever reason, losing his power, but by getting into the sunlight uh, and getting those, that radiation from the sun, it actually replenished him. That was his power source. Well, just like Popeye and just like Superman, you have a power source. And that power source is being able to tap into something called faith, applied faith. So, Angie, read us what Napoleon Hill says about applied faith. My pleasure. Applied faith. Faith is a state of mind which may develop by conditioning your mind to receive infinite intelligence. Applied faith is the adaption of the power received from infinite intelligence to a definite major purpose. Both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought. When faith is added to thought, the subconscious mind instantly picks up the vibration translates it into its spiritual equivalent and transmits it to infinite intelligence. Faith is the only agency through which the cosmic force of infinite intelligence can be har harnessed and used. You can do it if you believe you can. Excellent. So, you know, a lot of these um, scroll-like uh, things like the Laws of Success by Napoleon Hill talk about things like infinite intelligence but you and i both know that when infinite intelligence is talked about what we're really talking about is god our father god our father that's right <laughs> so let's talk about faith and let's talk about what faith really is and i'm going to share with you today two definitions that have been just incredible in our life uh, that really helps us wrap our head around faith uh, the first one comes from scripture honey Hebrews 11.1, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Excellent. And my pastor actually is, uh, has a definition of faith, and it's being fully persuaded about what God or the Word says about you. You know, and being able to, when I say fully persuaded, meaning that you can stand on that, and you cannot be pushed away from that thought. You know, we talk, we've been talking about your definite major purpose. We've been talking about the power of the mastermind. But let me tell you something. In order for you to get those things, you've got to understand and believe that God wants you blessed. You're his kid. So as you tap into that and you think, okay, if I am doing, acting in accordance to what God says about me, my goodness, what kind of doors is that going to open? And it actually allows faith to show up in your life. It, it allows, that faith allows favor, it allows a blessing to show up in your life. So applied faith is so key and it's so important. Amen. Without faith, it's impo impossible to please him. You know why? Totally. It's impossible to please him because he wants you blessed. But if you don't have faith, you're breaking off that chain between you and him. Yeah. You're not bringing heaven to earth. And it's frustrating because Think about this. If you're a parent and you see your child, you want that child to have the best in life. Mm -hmm. And if they're doing something to thwart you be able to get the best in life to them, you're not going to be pleased. So that's why the Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes, because he who comes to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder yeah. of them that diligently seek him. 
So when you think about these scrolls, and you think about the stuff that Napoleon Hill put out, you know, a lot of these success books are really based on the ultimate success book, which is the Bible. And I'm loving the fact that we're going through here and we're unpacking these, uh, these laws of success, if you will, but we're also recognizing where it comes from. Now, as I mentioned before, and some people ask, you know, is this free? Absolutely free. We will get you a PDF of all these laws of success. It's something that you can print off on a color printer and it looks nice. It's something that will remind you as we're going through these um, laws of success, you can follow along with us. All you need to do is send a, a message and uh, absolutely free. There's no catch. You don't have to do anything else, but send a message to me saying, send me the scrolls or send me those 17 laws of success and we'll get that PDF to you because I believe that it will be a blessing to you. So that being said, have a great rest of the day. We'll be back tomorrow with another Law of Success, and we'll be unpacking it because we want you blessed. We want you tapping into these Law of Success, and we want you to get all that God has for you because you're meant to be blessed. You're his kid. It's time for you to win. God bless.